Hello everyone again, it's Ryan Black. I'm here in Durden Hare Stadium for the fourth time in fifth game this year as Auburn prepares to host Ole Miss. By now, I assume everyone knows the uh, the story between the two coaches here, how similar they are, and the, the similar paths they've traversed with both being former high school coaches, Gus Malzahn at Auburn and Hugh Freeze at Ole Miss. They both once coached for one season at Arkansas State, and they both run very similar offenses. But what's more important to today is that they both enter with the exact same record on the season. Three and one overall, and one and one in Southeastern Conference play. Not only that, but they are both coming off a loss in their most recent outing. Auburn, of course, has had a bye week since they lost to LSU in Baton Rouge 35-21, whereas Ole Miss was in Tuscaloosa at this time last week, and they got shut out by top-ranked Alabama 25-0. But let's start with your Auburn Tigers. What, what I'm interested to see first off is how the offense responds without Jalen Denson. No, he wasn't the most uh, prolific pass catcher, but as the coaches would tell you, the junior receiver was arguably their best blocker in, in the running game. And if you've looked at the stats over time in the last four games, the first two games of the season, Auburn ran for nearly 300 yards both games. Then against Mississippi State, they ran for 120, and then their last outing against LSU, they ran for roughly, I think, 213 was the final tally. Now, again, that game was maybe an aberration because with the weather and, and elements like that, we're obviously not going to experience that today. But again, with Denson out, we'll get to see a lot more of Brandon Fulce and Melvin Ray. So we'll know very early on how they're coming along in their attempts to replace him. On the other side, that's going to be uh, Auburn's biggest worry is stopping the Ole Miss running game. Last year, running back Jeff Scott ran all over the Tigers' defense. And during the week, the Tigers have said that's one of the, their keys coming into this game is stopping Jeff Scott. Uh, to Jeff Scott. However, it might be a pick-your-poison kind of thing because Auburn has also shown the inability to slow down mobile quarterbacks, which is what Ole Miss signal caller Bo Wallace is. Uh, he's very similar to, as I wrote earlier this week, he's very similar to Dak Prescott, who, as, as you may recall, had a lot of success running the ball here against Auburn when they were last year in Jordan Hare Stadium. Uh, the only difference, of course, between the two is that Scott, I'm sorry, Wallace is a bigger quarterback size-wise, at least height, whereas Prescott's a much thicker guy. Regardless, if Auburn can't stop the run, they're going to be in for a very long game. And let's say they do stop the run. The problem with that is that very much like LSU, they have multiple receivers who are very good pass catchers. With LSU, it was the Coach duo Jordan of Odell on, Beckham and Jarvis Landry. This week, you add another guy to the concoction. You have Evan Ingram, Laquan Treadwell, and the most well-known experience member, Don K. Moncrief. So again, these teams are very evenly matched. I'm expecting a very close game. However, given the year of experience that Ole Miss has in Hugh offense, I'm giving the slight edge to Ole Miss. I picked them to win. 28-24. We'll see if I'm wrong. I know you guys want me to be. So again, please check in on LedgerInquirer.com as I continue to you know, update content before, during, and after today's game. Thank you so much.